Hey everybody, welcome to another painting Ezra. We're teaching to make a cool painting in about an hour and I get a little drunk doing it. My name is Joel and today we are painting this right here. I call it a mountain. Um, it's a cool painting. This is very Bob Ross. So um, that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to make that painting. Um, I'm going to tell you all the things you need for this and walk you through to do it. Before I get to that, um, if you haven't already, search Paint the Edge off and, you know, follow and subscribe and stuff. I really appreciate that. It helps me out a lot. Um, and uh, also, like I do with all my classes, I'm going to give away a free giveaway painting. All you're going to do is correctly answer my subjective trivia question first in the comments, and I will send you a free painting of your choice. So with that being said, uh, here's what you're going to need today. You're going to need a canvas. Okay, I use 16 by 20. Uh, however, you can use different sizes if you like, but 16 by 20 is what I'm going to use. That's what my measurements are going to be for. Um, uh, also, I've got paper towels here. Okay, You're gonna, we're going to need some paper towels for this one a little bit more. Uh, a lot of texture in this one. Okay, uh, I've also got um, a water cup. That's going to be, this is acrylic paint, so you need water to mix with your paint. I've also got a blow dryer. It'll be drying my painting fast, and I've got whiskey. Okay. I've also got paper plates that I use for my palette. Uh, feel free to use whatever you like. Paper plates are just kind of easier. So that's what I'm using for that. Um, what else? Tools. Okay, so we've got a couple new ones here. I've got a palette knife. Okay, this is known as a palette knife. You have to get one of these fancy uh, metal ones, but um, <laughs> they can never out and out now. On YouTube. Okay. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm using a palette knife. You can use a plastic one if you got one of those cheap ones. That works fine. Or anything. Just take a little card. You can take your driver's license. Anything hard. They were used to kind of scrape a little bit, okay? I've also got a pencil, okay? A little pencil there. And I've got a piece of chalk. It helps me draw on my canvas. I can draw on dried paint with chalk and then it comes right off. So it's a good sketching tool. Okay, and I've got brushes. So like always, I've got my big flat brush and I've got my medium flat brush. And I've got my medium round brush and my little tiny round brush. But today I've also got a big round brush and I've got one of these fan brushes, okay? That's kind of a medium fan brush, not, not too big. Okay, but those are my one, two, three, four, five, six brushes, okay? I'm gonna take those and put them bristle down on my water cup, leave them there anytime I'm not using them, okay? And, um, oh, paint colors. I've got black, white, I've got phthalo blue, Violet, I've got a bright red, a light yellow, and last but not least, raw sienna. Yellow ochre works good for that too, but I'm using raw sienna, okay? So, that's everything we got, and uh, cheers. Ah, okay, let's get going. Uh, hey. Okay, I'm going to move this over here, change my camera here, get everything set up. Uh, there we go. Um, now, if you're watching on TikTok, you get a better view on Twitch, but if you don't have Twitch or whatever, you're not used to that, that's fine. But uh, you'll miss out on some stuff on Twitch, but um, TikTok's where it's at. But or Sorry, if you're on TikTok, you'll miss out on stuff, but Twitch is where, you, where it's at if you're watching on TikTok. Um, okay. Um, hey, how are you guys? Thanks for commenting. Okay, let's get our shot counter going. Whoops. Shot counter. Uno shots. Okay. Now let's go to close up shots. Sorry, I'm a little, a little off right now. I had some technical difficulties, so I had to kind of start over a little bit. Okay, so this painting right here is pretty nice, but we're gonna draw some couple things in. So first thing I'm gonna do is draw kind of a little line where this little edge of the our shoreline of our little lake beach there is there so i'm gonna draw a line i'm gonna go a little less than halfway up somewhere about there so i got you know a little bit more space on the top um and maybe that's a little too well that's okay and i'm gonna draw this over it doesn't have to be straight I actually kind of angle up a little bit if you want there we go that's one spot let's give ourselves about two fingers there give ourselves a little space there let's draw another little edge this is gonna be kind of where our grassy grassy uh, area is okay I'm gonna draw another little line kind of about where the tops of the trees are it's kind of a loose line somewhere in here I can draw this kind of I'm drawing this kind of light because I want um, I'm gonna probably paint over so I don't want this to show through too much or mix with my paint so I'm drawing a little light but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this edge I'm gonna go from here to my bottom line 
I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna make another line right here, okay? That's gonna make that line kind of reverse down there, okay? Something like that, okay? Now let's draw our mountain. The mountain's a little over from the middle, and I'm gonna say it goes up just a little bit above our tree line here. So I'm gonna say about there, and it's pretty wide. Something like that, just a loose. I'm gonna go like this, measure from here to this line again, that first line we drew. Come down here, make a little point right there, and then try to mirror that that shape what, like you can. Okay, there's the beginnings of our drawing. It's hard to see on TikTok, but um, again, get a better view on Twitch. Um, what do you guys see there? Um, let me know what you can see if you can't see anything. Okay, now last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a couple little clouds. Let's draw a little cloud here. Just a couple vague shapes for clouds there. Over here, there's kind of a little cloud that's kind of going like this. There's some little clouds going to the sky like this. And then it kind of cuts back like that. All right. Okay, and that's how we're going to start. All right. And you know what? Let's take one more shot, okay? I need another shot right now, okay? This was a little hectic getting set up today. Uh, chairs. Took a bite too big to swallow. Ah. Shot two. Okay, let's get painting. Let's take our, our plate out. Once you get that drawn in, let's take some phthalo blue and some white. Go ahead and get a lot of this on your plate. I'm going to take my big flat brush out of my cup. Give it a little tap so you feel faint. See? Take your brush, stir that water in with your white paint. Mix that with your blue here. And this is going to be kind of a medium blue, not super light. Something like this, maybe a little bit darker. It's going to be a pretty, a little darker blue than I usually start with a lot of skies, so a little bit deeper there, blue. I don't want to mix up a lot, so I'm going to cover a lot of area with this. Oh, one thing I need to do first, oh, before I forget, let's, let's mirror these edges here. Let's draw that little cloud in there. Let's also draw a little cloud here. All right, okay. Okay, so let's see, I've got enough of this mixed up. Let's go ahead and take this color. And I'm gonna start below my tree line. I, I don't have to go all the way to that bottom, but I'm gonna go down here pretty close to the bottom. This kind of helps me get, uh, that line still kind of helps me. Even though it may seem like, why'd we draw that line? Well, because. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around where my clouds are. Excuse me. I'm gonna kind of paint around where I've kind of drawn these clouds in. Something like that. Uh, we're gonna fix these clouds up in a minute while this is still wet, so that's gonna change a little bit. Again, I'm gonna go around this little cloud shape type thingy here. All right, there we go. Let's get some of this paint off the bottom of my brush and use that. There we go. All right. What is this feeling? And where does it come from? There we go. Okay. Going right along here. All right, let's fill in the right side. So this little corner. Okay. Um, in here, this corner, same thing. Now, again, on this right side, I want to make sure I go a little down past that little tree line that I drew in. Give ourselves a little little wiggle room with that area. We're gonna put the trees in later, but um, you know, we're gonna want a little extra wiggle room in case we need to. Because there's gonna be peaks and valleys here. It's gonna cover up a lot of the blue, but there's gonna be a little parts showing through. So go down a little further down below that line that you drew. Try as you might, well, you can't stop the cloud. Around my little cloud right there. So I'm just doing the same thing, I'm just mirroring it on the bottom, okay? What's everybody doing out there? Happy Wednesday to everybody. Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, okay, so again, same thing. I'm just mirroring it a little bit there. Going a little up above that line or into that line, that tree line. 
part that we had sketched in. Okay, and that right there, I'm gonna stop painting the blue. I'm gonna take a little bit more just thalo blue on my brush, a little bit darker. I'm gonna take some of this across the top, get some of this across the top here, and then I'm just gonna brush that in. So as I go down, it gets a little lighter. There we go. Now let's take this thalo blue over here and kind of brush this down. So add a little, go a little bit at a time. Don't go crazy with that dark thalo blue at the top first. Just start with a little bit. We want to be a little darker than this. Getting to be a lot of paint on here. There we go. Let's get a lot of that paint on here now. So I still start with a little bit just to be safe. But then I, you know, if you need more, you need more. Here we go. Okay. Now we got a little darker at the top. Let's go down and kind of blend that. Blend that away into our blue. And I'm just kind of brushing back and forth, going around my clouds. And as I go down, I'm just pressing light. I'm not getting more paint. Oh, whoa, that's a little dark. That's okay. There we go. Just kind of lightly brush it. This stuff will blend in. All right. There we go. A little darker at the top. Let's put a little tiny bit of this at the bottom, even though we don't really see it that much in this area. Let's just put a little tiny bit. I'm going to take a towel every once in a while and wipe it off. All right, is this showing up better? Because a minute ago I was having technical difficulties here with the video. So if you're on line watching, let me know. Whoops, whoop, all right. Okay. Okay, that's part one. We got our blue, pretty deep blue. And then at the top, we had some more dark blues up there to kind of make it a little bit more, uh, a little darker at the top as it gets away from the ground. All right. Now, we want some clean white paint. We can mess with this over here. It's got some blue in it. We'll come back to blue and white in a minute. So right now, let's just get some new, white, new plate with white paint here. Now, I'm gonna take my flat, my big flat brush. Now, you can use a different brush if you like. So I'm going to stick with my big flat brush here. And, you know, we're just going to take some of this. We're going to put some of this white in these empty areas for our clouds. We're just going to kind of lightly brush it around, get it to kind of mix in with our blue, and make some quick little uh, fluffy clouds here. Okay, so let's start over here. Let's take some white right here. I do. I'm going to start here, and then I'm just going to kind of lightly put this in. I'm going to put all these white areas in first. Well, I still got some semi-clean white paint on my brush. Let's put some in here. Well, I like. So I'm kind of starting by putting some thick paint in these areas, some white paint. And here at the bottom, I always like to prop it. There we go. Now, I'm going to take a new paper towel. I can scrape some of this paint off. I want to get like a drier brush. I kind of scrape some of that off first. Have a little paper towel in your hand in case you need to wipe it off. Okay, now let's go in here and let's just start uh, just start messing it up, okay? Let's just start flicking that wrist, okay? Hey, there we go. Look at that. A little cloud action going on. Let's go up here. Let's make a little fluff around the top part, maybe. Now how does that sound? How does that sound? And then, you know, if I want, I could put some other little white spots in here. Maybe there's some... I can add this texture around my clouds. So it looks like it's kind of throughout my space in my sky. Down here in the water, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little different effect down there. Kind of started to do something there, and I was like, oh yeah, wait, don't do that. So I'm gonna go back to the bottom in a minute. I'm gonna keep wiping my brush now. Where this blue's take is kind of taken over, I might blend that a little bit and wipe it off so the blue's not going too hard. Taking over all my white paint, which it's kind of doing right there. Let's kind of go in here. Let's just kind of blend this in. Now we can go in later and I'll add some more bright whites later. Right now we just kind of want to get a nice little fluffy edge. Um, and have those kind of blending a little bit there. And I kind of add a little... There we go. So let's kind of blend it in there now, okay? That's all we really need to do. Uh, in the bottom, we'll do a little different effect, but maybe I can add some more whites, you know, kind of make this a little bit more 
spread this effect out a little bit so it kind of matches the rest of the sky. Okay, now down here at the bottom, here's what I want to do. Down here at the bottom, we're gonna, it's going to be water. And there's kind of all the reflections are kind of going, I'm going to make these vertical brush strokes like this. I'm going to have real light, not, no paint on my brush. I'm just going to do something like this, okay? Across this whole thing. I'm going to do it like this. We're going to get a lot of thick paint on your brush. you got to be a little careful, I guess. This is where you might want to wipe some of that paint off. Okay? Okay, there we go. Hey, first part, done. We got the sky in, we got a lot of these colors in. All right, TikTok, anybody saying anything on here? How are we doing? No, no, no comments, you know, comment. Oh, that one, no, it's not. All right. Oh, okay, let's take a shot real quick. Okay, we can blow dry for a sec, just get a little bit dry. We're gonna paint our mountain in next. But that's what you wanna get to first, okay? Let's keep moving here, okay? Let's get into this. Let's get right into it, okay? Let's take some purple paint. Let's take our big brush out. We can give it a little wash, wash some of that blue out. Let's take some uh, purple, or oh, I'm gonna get some more blue on here too. All right. So our color is gonna be mostly purple, a little bit of blue to darken it up. An even mixture there, probably a purple and blue, whatever looks about even to you. It's a little bit bluish purple. I'm gonna add just a little bit of white. So I'm gonna get just a little bit of white mixed in with it. There we go. Now we got a nice purple color there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start and uh, just kind of go for it here. Okay, make your own, uh, make your own edge there of the painting. Okay, okay. I don't know why I'm suddenly uh, Canadian or uh, Minnesota. There we go. There we go. Now I'm gonna kind of take this, I'm gonna go in a little bit, like this, like that. There's gonna be a lot of white in here that I'm gonna use with my palette knife. But for now, let's just kind of get that little edge in there, okay? Get that kind of filled in out there. That outside area is gonna be pretty purple. Okay, now let's do the same thing down here at the bottom. Now some of my white paint, some of that paint might be a little wet. If it is, you could blow dry before this step, but um, here we go. There we go. Fill all that in. Boom. All right. All right. Okay. That's the first part. Now, on the camera online, it doesn't look very purple. And I don't know what to do, but I've tried this camera. I think it's kind of crapping out on me a little bit, but... Let's get a new camera here soon. Okay, now before we go on, take that big brush, wash it out. We're gonna dry it off and uh, do a little little effect in the water, make it look like the same kind of effect where everything's kind of blurring at the bottom of the water. Okay. 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 So now we got our brush. Let's go ahead and take this. I'm gonna kind of do this little effect right here. I'm gonna kind of brush this edge mess up this edge a little bit where it's kind of getting this Ooh, that looks nice a little bit of water on your brush that looks cool okay so now it's kind of looks like it's kind of you know a little effect like it's um you know ripples in the water or something anybody out there red are you watching red say some if you're watching okay boom next part white paint new plate white paint oh hi how are you Okay, let's take our, now this is where we're going to use our palette knife, okay? So, let's take our palette knife here, and let's take this, I'm going to use, I'm going to take, I'm going to scoop, kind of get some stuff on the bottom. If you don't have a palette knife and you're using something else, you just want to get some white paint on the edge of your tool there, whatever tool you're using. And I'm just going to go for it, okay? I'm going to kind of make little angled lines like this. I'm going to start by just kind of filling it in. Then I'll go back and add some more, uh, some more texture to it. Okay, but for right now, I'm just kind of play with it, kind of fill in that empty space. And then we can kind of go in and 
it's all for your entertainment. Okay. Let's do the same thing down here in the, well, let's, yeah, let's do the same thing in the bottom. Well, let's come back. Let's first kind of shape on it. So we kind of got some big white areas now. Now let's texture it up. Let's take some of this. Let's just kind of make some little stuff like that. We have some white parts go all the way to the edge, right? And then we kind of give it a little textures right there. Maybe some of this on the right side goes out a little further. Maybe out here. Dang. There we go. Let's do the same thing in the bottom now. Now you could turn your canvas upside down. That'd be a cool thing to do. All right, I'm gonna try to do this upside down. Now I'm gonna go all the way to my edge. I'm gonna still add this texture. I'm trying to match this. Let me put a little bit of a texture out here on these edges. That goes a little further out here. Mm -hmm. Kind of harder to do it upside this upside down. Maybe this is. Oh, okay, that's working a little bit better. Got it filled in now. Let's also do the same thing with purple. Let's take the same palette knife. Let's get some of this purple. On here, okay? And now we can kind of go in here, kind of add some extra little texture. Maybe I'll try to turn my brush upside down, do the same kind of thing here. Maybe every step you do, try to do the same thing in reverse on the bottom so you kind of keep that same uh, look on both sides. All right. I don't do the palette knife very often, so I'm getting still uh, learning. I'm kind of learning this a little bit. Here we go. Now let's put a little extra in here. Maybe some purples in here somewhere. Okay, just play with this. Do whatever you like. There. Now you're gonna find stuff that works for you. If it looks good, you just do that. You don't do exactly like me or anything. Just do whatever works for you. And you know you're gonna find stuff. Whatever you find, if it, and if something works, you know, leave it. Okay, there we go. So we got kind of a little mountain there. Let's take, you know, I'm kind of not happy. Let's do a little bit up here. This is, this top's a little weird. Let's put a little, maybe a little purple. Yeah, there we go. That looks a little better. Maybe I can do the same thing here. Really do anything. Okay. There we go. That looks nice. That looks nice. Oh, uh, now I'm just gonna take a paper towel and just wipe this paint off. Okay, last thing that we're almost done with this step. Let's take our big brush again. Again, we wipe it off, kind of dry it off a little bit. And now I'm just gonna take my brush down here in the water. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna brush it back and forth, give this effect that it's like, you know, kind of blending at the water there. So I'm just gonna brush some of that away. Okay? Boom! Okay, we got that done. So that's the first part. We kind of get that cool looking mountain in. Okay, then we'll go in here in a minute and we'll start putting in like where our trees are. And what do we do next? I think I put, um, yeah, okay. I put the trees, the dark parts of the trees. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. So I'm gonna blow dry for a minute. Let's do our trivia question. Let's take a shot and uh, we'll keep painting once this is dry. All right, sorry that's so loud. I'm sorry. Or anybody on uh, here say, oh, thanks, good, good, okay, good. Um, Michael, you ever paint? You watch uh, any, you like Bob Ross here? This is kind of a very Bob Ross painting, you know? I try to do, I try and try to make some newer paintings with a little bit more texture and more of that kind of textured effect, more of the Bob Ross effect, you know? Ah, okay. Shot four. Um, okay. Trivia question. Today's trivia question is, 
What is the name of the new Transformers and the Fast and Furious crossover movie going to be called? It's only a matter of time before they make that movie. We all know it's coming. Fast and Furious Transformers crossover movie. Is it A, Fast Formers? Is it B, Trans Fast, High Noon in the Robot City? Is it C, Last of the Family Bots? Is it D, Transformers, Rise of the Tribal Tattoos? F, Transformula One. F, Transfurious, my muffler is full. Is it G, Auto Erotica Bots? Or is it H, Tank Tops and Robots? That's your trivia question for today. If you'd like to win a free painting, uh, give it a guess there. And if you guess correctly, I will send you a free painting. So, oh, how's everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. Hope you're all doing well. Um, it's my day off. So, that's good. C. Okay, we got a guess for C. Okay, C, last of the family box. That's a good guess. Okay, now this is pretty thick paint. It might take a minute to dry. Oh, it's getting, it's getting there. Take a minute to dry. Okay, um, so, what's been going on? Just been working like a dog still. My birthday's coming up though, and I'm gonna take some days off for my birthday. I'm excited about that. Um, I just uh, got, I've been watching his podcast, and does anybody know who Stephen Wright is? Stephen Wright was this hilarious comic. You'd probably recognize his voice, but he'd go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and he'd talk real like that, and he had like little one-liner jokes, but he was brilliant. Uh, he wrote a book, and he's been doing the circuit promoting it, and everything I've heard about it just sounds like amazing. So I ordered it, and it uh, just came in, so that's cool. Um, also, today is National Days. Let's go through our National Days today. It's, what is it? It's National Pack Rat Day, National Medical Services for Children Day. Nothing funny about that. Good for them, okay. National Cherry Cobbler Day, National Hypertension Day, National Idaho Day, National Graduation Tassel Day. It's a whole day just for graduation cap tassels, which is, seems silly to me. It's also National Walnut Day and National World Telecommunication, blah, blah, who, who cares? Telecommunication for, there's like this huge long, I didn't even write it all down. Pretty lame. Uh, here's a walnut. This is what we're celebrating today. National Walnut Day. Congratulations to all the walnuts. Okay. This feels pretty dry now. There's maybe a couple tacky parts, but whatever. I'm over it. Okay. Now what we want to do is make up a nice dark color. And you know, let's take one quick shot, okay? We need some more Dwight Peppa. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I've been, um, been busy, but good. Gonna get a new phone. I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, it's been a good week, but been busy, but should be getting a little easier here soon. Have more time to, t more time for myself, you know? I'm gonna treat myself. Cheers. I love you. Uh. I love you too. <sighs> okay. That would be shot five. Again, if you're watching on t TikTok, um, Twitch is going to be a lot better view for you, but um, it just looks a little better on Twitch. But I understand if you're only, you don't got Twitch. But um, anyway, if you want to do that, you might be able to see a lot more stuff on there. Okay. So what are we doing now? Now we're going to start our trees. Okay, we've got a little tree line here. So we're starting with our dark colors, kind of get like some vague impressions of the tree. Put that in the water and the sky. Okay, and then we're going to go back and we're going to um, add some uh, colors on our trees, add the grass, add the little bank there, okay, and do the same thing in the water. Okay, let's take a new plate, purple, let's take some yellow, and you know what, I'm going to get a little bit of black, okay, I am, I'm going to get a little black. 
I like to use um, just the colors to mix up to make black. Just kind of a more, uh, I don't know, it's just a different way to do it, I guess. But I try not to use black too much on some of these, like more naturalistic looking landscapes. But um, but you do need it sometimes. So let's take purple and mix that with yellow. Purple and yellow are complementary colors, ladies and gentlemen. That means they're total opposites, okay? Total opposites, you know, like me and, you know, my lady. Or me and, uh, you know, total opposites like you and your sister or something who knows okay now i'm talking about okay we got this kind of we got this kind of neutral color let's add a little bit of black to it not a lot just a little bit to our big pile there it's going to darken it up and if it just totally turns black add a little bit more purple and yellow so you got a little bit more paint in there so it's not just black black is a very strong color to take over really quickly so once we get this on our brush let's go ahead and start by kind of drawing that line back in this is that line that we had originally Let's start just making a nice solid line there, okay? Now then once I get in there, I'm just gonna kinda start really pressing my brush down, okay? Let me show you here. I'm gonna really start pressing my brush down, okay? That kind of spreads it out, okay? Kind of go like that. And once you get it like that, I would take a brush that you're not um, super attached to, okay? One you can beat up a little bit, you know? It's like you're, uh, I don't know. It's like your little brother that you can be a little bully to, I guess. Take that brush that you don't really, you're not too worried about if it's the most pristine brush all the time. You're going to press this down and kind of mess it up a little bit, right? Oh, look at that. Oh. Maybe add a little more yellow to this. It's a little too purple, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little more yellow than purple, I guess, because that looks a little more tree-like, you know? Let's make it take a, it looks more like yellow, a little more yellow into my mixture here. Still got a lot of these other colors. Let's take a little bit more yellow in there. It's a little too purple. I'm gonna go back in here once I kind of get that first thing, and I'm gonna start making some some trees. You know, all right? I can do like this. I can kind of dab if I need to. Let's kind of make some little trees. Trying to make them, you know, different. You can use your small. Actually, maybe I should use my small round brush for this. Well, too late now. So whatever. I get some vague. Oh, that's kind of like a little shimmy shake there. And this is just kind of the background layer. It doesn't like you have to like fully form every tree. It's just going to kind of be a little kind of a basis for, you can add some other trees with your light colors too. And it'll be fine, okay? Mm -hmm. Now let's do the same thing down here now. Down here, we're not gonna see as much of the bottom there, but let's go ahead and kind of go ahead and kind of start it the same way. It's gonna be a lot looser in the bottom down here. Okay, and let's kind of do the same thing. I'm gonna try to. Well, that looks a little better. I'm doing a little better now. Oh, that looks a little better. Start there and then kind of lift off as you squiggle up, squiggle down, I guess, down here. This one's a little taller. This one's a little taller too. So I'm just gonna go through and do all these again, okay? Just squiggling, using the texture of that dry brush to make some, uh, oh, that was a little too tall, whatever. No one will notice. Maybe they will, I don't know. But if they do, I'm gonna say, what are you talking about? What? I'm gonna say, you know, that's my artistic freedom. Um, again, like I always say, you know, um, BSing your way through art is one of the most important things in art. That's what I learned in art school was uh, just bullshit your way through a lot of stuff. Oh, I did that because I meant to do that. Um, oh, well, it's, it's a, yeah, it's not an accurate representation of what it looks like. It's just how it feels to me, you know. This is more of a, it's an impression, you know, of what I feel like about it, you know. That was always a good bullshit reason for why something didn't look how I wanted it to. Little trees, I like the different heights. Hey, thank you. Okay, now, before I'm done with that, again, everything in the water, a lot of stuff in the water, I'm going to take my big brush, I'm going to do that same effect I did with the mountain. Let's take our big brush, whap it off a little bit, and I think I'm just going to kind of pull some of these down a little bit, right? Ooh, ooh. Very lightly, no paint on my brush, maybe a little, there could be a little, it could be kind of damp, a little bit of water, but not much water pretty much a dry brush. I'm just gonna kind of brush down with every brush stroke. I'm going down, 
starting up here and going down. Okay, just kind of like pull down, kind of give it that effect that's kind of rippling down there in the water. It's a little blurry at the bottom. Now, this side of the camera, I don't know why is blurry on this side and that side. I don't know what that's about. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. But uh, anywho, not important right now. Okay, so there's that. Now, um, maybe we should take probably one quick shot, right? All right. Oh, you know, um, in the perfect settings, you can see how purple this is. It's a little bit more purple. You can see how a little bit more defined these are, you know, in a vacuum. In a vacuum, this is like, you know, when people say that, like, what does that mean, in a vacuum? Like, just in, with no outside, um, you know, factors? Because when I think in a vacuum, I'm like, dude, inside of a vacuum is, like, super dirty. And there's like cat hair and dust and pollen in a vacuum. Um, is it a Hoover vacuum? Is it a shark? One of those old vacuums, you know, the Kirby vacuum that got all kinds of nasty shit in there. I'm just like, in a vacuum, you're right. And it's like, what do you mean when I'm in a vacuum? I don't understand that term. I guess it means in a vacuum, like in space or something, like in a vacuum of space and time or something. When did that start? When did everyone start saying that, you know? Cheers. Silence, what's up? <clears throat> the silence, did you see the trivia question? Today's trivia question is, what is the name of the new Transformers Fast and Furious crossover movie going to be called? Is it A, Fast Formers? Is it B, Trans Fast, High Noon and Robot City? Is it C, Last of the Family Bots? Is it D, Transformers, Rise of the Tribal Tattoos? Is it uh, E, Transformula One? Is it F, Transfurious, My Muffler is Full? Is it G, Auto Erotica Bots? Or is it H, Tank Tops and Robots? All right, that's the trivia question for today. Okay, got a guess for F, Transfurious, My Muffler is Full. Good guess, good guess, Silence. We already had a guess for C, uh, last of the family bots. So those two have been guessed. That's good. So those are the guesses so far. You can feel free. You can guess the same ones. I don't. I don't care. You know. Okay. Let's take um, a new plate, or we can take whatever. You know. Don't have to lose all these plates. I'm just. Uh, I'm careless. You know. I'm. I'm careless and I'm reckless right now. But whatever. Okay. Let's go to our. Um, you know. I had my medium small. My medium round brush. And I think I used the medium round brush for this part, but um, I fudged up and I used my big one. I should have used my small one. Okay, let's take our medium flat brush. Okay, our smaller flat brush of the two. Um, okay, let's take our raw sienna, mix it with some white here. Just a little bit of white in there, lighten it up just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and this is gonna be like the bank of our uh, water here. Wait a second, what did I do? Oh, I know what I need to do, whoops. Okay, wait, hold on, sorry guys. Yeah, this is gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna take this up a little higher. Take it up a little bit higher. I should have, honestly, I think I messed up my edge there and I kind of moved it down. But you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna move it up a little bit. Move it up just a tad. Okay. Everything's fine, okay? Oh wait, no, I think that's okay because look, here's what I'm gonna do. You know, I guess I didn't need it that because this was the grass part and this was the edge. So I was doing it right. Oh, I sh okay, I'm gonna wipe a little bit of this so it's not gonna blend too much. Okay, we got a guess for F. Oh yeah, wait, I already saw that, okay. Let's go ahead and take our, all right, this, e sorry, this step's a little effed, kind of effed it up a little bit, but you get the idea. I think at first I thought I did it wrong, but I actually was okay. Okay, let's make a nice solid edge there. This is like the little bank of the river, lake. I'm thinking lake. Right? This has got to be a lake, right? I don't know. I found a picture online and I painted it. I don't friggin' know. Okay, there we go. There's that. Okay. 
Um, I could take a little bit more just raw sienna if I want to just add in some other colors. I don't know. I could take some more white or something. If I friggin' want to. Who friggin' cares though, right? <laughs> oh, look. Oh, let's jazz it up. This is called jazzing it up. This is what's known as dissing your dog. No, this is what's known as jazzing up your painting, okay? Put a happy little treat bank in there. This is probably about as uh, Bob Rossi of a painting as I'm going to get. Okay, there's that. Um, you know, let's blow dry for a sec, you know? What's my, I can't tell you my answer. I'd be telling you the answer. I can't tell you the answer. Is anyone on here saying anything? Probably not. Cool trees. I like the different heights. Oh, yeah, I already, I already read that. Thank you. Okay. All right, let's take one more shot and, um, you know, figure it out. Figure it out. Oh, shit, that was a big one. Cheers, honky. Uh, hey, science, what's your opinion on this? Um, I like to say honky. It's a funny term. I think it just means a white person, right? Uh, it's just funny. I don't know. Honky. It's a funny word. I like it. And, uh... I, know, I said that at work and someone's like, oh, that's offensive. And I'm like, to who? And they're like, well, people that are, well, you're calling someone, well, and I'm like, white or not, I'm white. I can call someone. And also, isn't it like, okay, all right, this, I don't know. I'm not, okay. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah. It's just like a redneck, right? So if I call you a honky, whether you're white or black, even if, and if you're not a redneck and I call you a honky and you're offended by that, that offends me. You're offended for me calling you what I am, you know? I don't understand how that's offensive. Honky? Honky to me is just a funny word for, yeah, redneck white person. I don't know, sorry, weird tangent. I don't know, I just think about that, I don't know, I said honky, I say honky a lot, and then someone, like, is trying to, like, give me shit for it, and I'm like, who cares, it's honky. If anything, I'm just making fun of white people, you know? I think white people are fucking dumb, you know? <laughs> okay. Let's go back to our blue, white. Let's take some blue, white, raw sienna. Um, okay, now here's where we're gonna start with our fan brush and get a little cool, get some cool stuff here. So now we're gonna take our fan brush and really get these cool looking trees in, okay? Thank you. That's what I kind of thought. I'm like, what are you offended by? Like, what I used to, I don't know, some people are just, I don't know. I think, I mean, they're a good, it's a, coming from a good place. They're trying to be like, you know, uh, respectful of everybody, but like, I don't know. It's just kind of like, I don't know. Do, do I get any respect? I, mean, was, I know I'm a white man, but like, I'm still a person. Okay. Let's take some raw sienna. Mix that with your light yellow. But I mean, I understand. look, I'm not complaining about anything. I'm just saying. One of those things where I didn't think it was hurtful. I thought it was just a funny thing to say. And then I felt bad and I was like, oh no, am I being... You know, whatever. I'm okay. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna cry later, but that's fine. Everything's fine. All right, let's get a very light green. That means lots of yellow. More yellow than blue. And then we take a little bit of our raw sienna. That kind of gives us this like olive forest green color. Now, I've got a lot of paint here. I just mixed it up with this brush, which, you know, you don't have to mix up this brush. You can mix up with a different brush. So I don't really need that much paint on here. In fact, you want a kind of a little bit lighter amount of paint with this brush. So you get that effect of the uh, the little tree thing. So I'm going to start down here in the bottom because i got some thick paint right now. And I'm going to start by kind of brushing this in. Now, as I go up, I'm going to get smaller. I'm going to kind of start really using, like, maybe just the corner of this brush, you know? And start making, oh, there's the tree, tree to tops of the tree. Okay. Okay. Boom, look at that tree. That's a nice tree. Man, the, uh, unfortunately, the, um, you know, oh, this thing's freaking reversed. Hold on, let me, 
could I lose? Never done it like me. I'm so unique, so why would I ever seek approval? Never see me post. Boom, that's what it actually looks like. Okay. So I'm gonna go through that with all these trees. I'm gonna go wow, 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 wow. a lot more about the maybe well actually I don't actually we should have some of the darker clothes showing more at the bottom. But either way, you work your way up as your brush gets dried out and less paint. That kind of works. Then you got like a little bit less painter brush, you can make a little smaller dabs at the top, right? I wonder what's sad telling yourself you're not fit for the dream. So I wanna leave some of this dark color showing at the bottom. And as I go up, kaboom, kaboom. I guess I can go ahead and do the bottom too. But let's do the bottom last, because I'm gonna do that um little effect there. And the bottom's gonna be a little different. So we'll it's gonna be different, okay? It's gonna be a little different. So silence, you're a redneck? Silence, where are you from exactly? Where where did you grow up? Because I would I'm a definitely redneck. I'm definitely white trash. I wouldn't say white trash more than redneck. I'm just a city boy who was poor as fuck. White trash is what I would call myself. If I had to pick a slur for myself, it would be white trash. Mm -hmm. Maybe I put a couple little dabs. Maybe there's a little forest of trees. That dark color there's a little confusing, so maybe I just put oh there's some some trees in there, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe in here I start going this way. Ooh, here we go. Switch it up a little bit. Switch hitter. <laughs> you know? Switch hitter. Silence, where are you from? Where'd you grow up? When you say you're a redneck, what is that mind? What do you mean by that, Silence? Okay, up here, boom. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through this over and over, all right? You know, sometimes they say Cracker Jack. I think that's a funny thing to call people, and I don't even think of it like Cracker or anything. I just think Cracker Jack, like the candy you get at a freaking baseball game. Just a dumb thing. It's like calling someone a Lucky Charm or something, or a Trickster for kids or something. People took that weird. I'm like, I'm not calling you. I'm just saying Cracker Jack. That's a funny thing to say. Oh, I'm, I'm so sensitive today. Okay. I don't know what I'm, def I'm defending myself to nobody. Okay. Here we go. Okay, these are looking nice. These are looking nice. Ah, yes. If you haven't already, this is Wordplay TJ. Look him up. Awesome artist. He's a great rapper. He's also a great visual artist. Too. I met him in college um, in art school. I call it art school. I guess it's just college. But art class, I guess. I guess it's just called art class. Mm -hmm. Now this one over here on the right, you don't really do that much detail because we're going to cover this up mostly. So whatever. Okay, now down here in the bottom, I'm just going to basically, okay, now, here's one thing you do. You can pull up or you can flip your painting around and just do it in reverse. Now, I'm going to be a lot looser in here purposely. It's just supposed to be a lot blurrier in the bottom down here. So boom, look at that. Uh, have you seen the road? Um, I've seen many roads. Um, have I seen the road? Well, I've seen the road runner. Um, strangest thing is, I've seen um, Fury Road. I've seen close, but it ain't as it the road to your heart. Oh, wow. Me cause it's not Maybe not. I'm Maybe I haven't seen that, I'm you know? Thus far from the things things that I fear. I'm yeah. free, my shit. This is how you paint the reflection. You turn your painting upside down, and you're like, oh, wow, it's like I'm painting the whole thing over again. Right? GT, <laughs> Oh, silence, please do. I'll be the mercy to your sigma. Aww. Oh, you don't play mercy. Oh, no. Who's going to be my mercy? I am a Sigma main, though. That's for damn show. Take anybody on a Sigma. Let's go. 
Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. Whoopsie doodles. That's a big sketchbook of whoopsie doodles. That's a whole page of whoopsie doodles right there. Hey, let's take a shot. Oh, you know, this is kind of a nice painting. Um, again, very Bob Ross. Um, I've been thinking about doing some more paintings that are like, um, yeah, this is acrylic. Um, let's see, does anyone still said anything on here? No, no one. Okay, yeah. This is acrylic paint, um, not oil paint. You know, uh, this is a very Bob Ross painting, and he used the oil paint, and he did this, uh, where he, he wets the thing down first, the foil, and then he goes in and does everything kind of in like one go. Which is really cool, very impressive. It's a fast way to paint. That's how he did them so fast. Um, I haven't really, I don't know, it's very, acrylic paint is, this is very different than what Bob Ross does, but this painting is kind of his style, so. I was trying to make something, maybe something a little more, because that's really not my style tech, typically. But, um, try to make something like this, and it looks nice. I like it, so. I don't know, people seem to like it, so. That's good, too. I'm going to wipe off some of this wet paint in here. This is the next part we're going to paint. Okay, um, but anyway, I see we're doing some other kind of, uh, paintings. Oh, you do? You paint like Bob? You paint with oil paint there? Oils with Mick? Hey, Oils with Mick, you want to hear the trivia question? Uh, every class I give away a free giveaway painting. All you gotta do is answer my subjective trivia question first in the comments. Okay, is it better if I do this? Uh, um, today's trivia question is... What is the name of the new Transformers Fast and Furious crossover movie called? Is it A, Fast Formers, B, Trans Fast, High Noon in Robot City, C, Last of the Family Bots, D, Transformers, Rise of the Tribal Tattoos, uh, F, tra uh, oh wait, no, E, Transformula One, F, Transfurious, My Muffler is Full, G, Auto Erotica Bots, or H, Tank Tops and Robots, okay? If you guess correctly, I'll send you a free painting, okay? Anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah, Bob Ross, um, a lot of my paintings are kind of style. I try to do different styles. I try to do mix it up and do different kinds. I think I want to do one that's like, uh, I want to do one that's like those old, uh, I don't know if they're like like Asian, I don't know, Chinese or Japanese, but those old like watercolor landscapes. Um, you see them, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. I, don't, I need to look up that style. Um, I'd like to do those, you know, that'd be cool. I like Japanese art a lot. Also do other oil paintings. Okay. Maybe I'll, I, hey, I'll follow you back, okay? I'll check out some of your stuff after the stream, okay? Um, okay, let's keep painting. Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna blow dry for a second. You know what's funny about, uh, I don't know. See, I don't know that much about like different Asian cultures, but I guess I'm thinking of Japanese culture, right? But I think it's funny that they're like, <laughs> they're so like high tech and they like built everything, but then they stopped at chairs. They're like, yeah, but fuck chairs. Like we don't use chairs here. Everyone sits on the floor and it's like, but why though? I've never heard a compelling argument for why You know, they just sit on the floor. What's that about? I don't know. They're like, yeah, we can make, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna create, or did, I don't know. See, either, did China invent gunpowder? That's like a fact, right? But it seemed like they were technologically advanced, but not chairs. They're like, yeah, we're way ahead of every, everyone in like Western culture. I think I didn't count that shot, did I? They're like, we're way ahead of everybody in Western culture, but uh, fuck chairs. Um, hey, please, my answer was E. Oh, P.S., my answer was E. Cool. All right, um, oils with Mick. I will, uh, we'll see if you're right there at the end. If you are and you get off, I'll still message you. And... Okay, we got that cleared up. We got the, uh, this dried up. Let's put our, let's put our grassy, our grassy knoll, you know? My gassy hole and my grassy knoll, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's take our same fanny brush. Let's take our fanny here. 
we're gonna paint with our fanny, okay? All right, we're up to eight shots of whiskey. Let's go, let's effing go. And uh, you know what? We're almost there. Let's take some yellow and blue. Let's make a very light, a little bit lighter green, not the lightest, but a little bit. We're not gonna add the raw sienna or if you have yellow ochre, you know? Um, gassy hole AU, tank another. What does that mean, tank another? Take another? Okay, let's add some, let's make a green, like a little medium green here. A little bit lighter, but I'm not gonna add that raw sienna to make it a little bit more like um, of a forest green. We're gonna make it kind of more of a bright green, just a little bit. And let's take this color, we're gonna start, let's start down here at the bottom, okay? Let's start down here, let's make a nice solid edge here for where the bottom of our, you know, our grassy knoll is, you know? If you don't watch SNL, that grassy knoll, gassy hole is from a great Kate McKinnon uh, sketch. And there's all these hilarious, all these hilarious, it's so funny. Uh, God, there's so many. My my cheese trumpet and my something hump it or something. And then there's like, uh, man, oh my God, I got to remember these now. Okay, so let's go here across here and make kind of a nice solid edge there for the bottoms of these little... Uh, bushes are this little bottom edge this little our little brush section here and then we're gonna go up here and let's kind of just do the same thing we're doing up here let's just kind of start lightly brushing this in get ourselves a little texture Fill in this empty section first. Love the way you talk to me. Cash machine. Cash machine. Now I go up here and kind of maybe make a, a little bit more, you know, if I need to. If, like I might leave a lot of sections alone, but maybe there's some spots where, hey, I'd, or maybe there's a section you want to cover up. It's a good place to cover something up with this color. Now, before we're done with this, let's put a little bit down here, just a little. I'm just going to kind of drag this down. Try not to get in my, my Ross, you know, oh, God. <laughs> Got it. Uh, trying to get my raw sienna color there. Let's just kind of bring some of this down here on the, on the left side. Don't need to go all the way across, but let's kind of put some of this down here on the left side. Just a little bit right there. A little bit taller on the left side. Now, before we're done, I'm going to take a little bit more blue. Make a darker green. And I'm going to put some of this in. Just here and there, you know. I would just not, I would let it blend. Don't think about this, you know, just kind of brush. Try not to be too formulaic. Try to be random here. Over here, I might make smaller brush strokes so it looks like it's further away. It's getting a little smaller and more condensed over here because it's further away. Perspective. Here we go. Kaboom! Let's take a shot, okay? Oh, let's see anybody say anything. Okay. Cheers. Look, okay. Oh, shot nine. I think I might be shot ten. I don't know. Count them all. <laughs> what do I do next here? Um, okay, I think I put some blacks in here. Some little black edges like along the bottom of this shore. A little bit under here. Maybe some of the trees if I need to. And then I do my big tree. Oh, oh, then I do the blue along the little blue spot in there. Okay, all right. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, okay? Don't let it fool you. I know what I'm doing here. Okay. Um, let's take um, our small flat brush. Or sorry, our medium flat brush. Let's take some black paint. I've got black paint on this plate here. Hopefully it's not too dried out. Let's take a lot of water and mix that in. Um, if you've still got black paint on a, on a plate and it's drying out, you may take some water or just get some new black paint. So it's not super dried out on you. Let's take lots of water here and mix that in. I want this to be pretty thin, kind of flow really nicely. So let's take lots of water, mix that in, really, really re-wetting up my black. That's not a word. What re-wetting? 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do here mainly is I'm gonna try to like outline the bottom of this shore there between the bank and the water. Not solid outline, but you know, pretty good one there. We're gonna cover some of that with our blue here in a minute. Okay, now let's go up here. Let's kind of add some little blacks in here at the bottoms of some of these little bush sections. Let's say, okay, there's a little bush section, right? Not everywhere, and you could even put some. I try to be pretty loose at this part. Maybe some areas where I don't have a lot of white, I can make that a little darker section. Oh, look, here we go. Oh, what's up? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, something like that. Okay, maybe a little something like that. Maybe some of these dark sections in the, in the green I could take. This is still a little wet on mine. Um, so it's kind of mixing a little bit, which is kind of good, kind of bad, but I'm going with it. Maybe there's a section where I could put a little more darks in there. I don't know. Okay, now I will. I can also take some blacks if I need to. I can put a little blacks maybe in here. Maybe there's a section where they're like this right here. That mountain's kind of showing through there more than I'd like to. I'll take black, you know, put a little black in there. Put a little black in between some of your trees too. Try to in between your green spots and those dark spots where maybe something's showing through where you just want to make it more... It just makes it look better, honestly, to put some of these dark colors in between some of the spots. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, oh, uh, oh. Uh. I'll just be down here at the bottom. Okay? I'm not going to mess with the trees in the bottom uh, in the water reflection. I want that to be loose and kind of look um, not as uh, solid or not as... You want that to be kind of blurry or kind of undeveloped, right? Okay, um, I think that's good for that. And, uh, you know, I think last thing, I don't know, is this dry? Okay, that's pretty dry. Okay, let's go back to my blue and white plate that I had. Or if you don't, if that plate's dried out, you've moved on. If you've moved on from that plate, make a new plate with blue and white. All right, I'm going to take some more white. I still have some blue on this plate. I'm going to go back to my medium flat brush. I'm going to wipe, make sure I get all that black paint out of there. Don't want any black mixed in, so make sure you get all that black paint washed out. So we get a, so we can mix blue and white. Really wash your brush out, you know? All right, blue and white. We basically want to make this sky color again. A nice deep blue color here. So a little bit of white with your blue, not a lot. If you're using phthalo blue, not a lot of white. A little bit of white will really. If you take that phthalo blue, just add a touch of white to it. That deep blue color is so nice. Okay, but let's get a lot of. Let's get some thick paint. Let's get some water mixed in here. Lots of water. Let's make this nice and smooth. Lots of flowing, flowy blue. But you want it to be solid, so not too watery. But this blue is also a little old, so I'm kind of using more water because I think it might be a little dried out. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to make a nice solid edge across here. So I want some thick paint. I want it nice and wet. I don't want it dried out. Um, and then I'm going to go across here and I want to make a little... I'm going to go kind of right across here. If I cover up some of the black, it's okay. I can kind of kind of create this edge for like the third time with this color, you know? So wherever you go, that can be the edge of the bank of this little lake. Not all the way across. Where it starts to dip down here, that's where I'm going to kind of stop it right there. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start filling this in. I say maybe this is the line where I kind of draw across. That's kind of where it, I think of a horizontal line, it kind of runs in to kind of get the bank goes down a little bit over here. If the bank doesn't go down on yours, you can make it go all the way across. Or you can just bring the bank down. Um, but you can make it go all the way across too. That's fine. Boom. Okay, I get it like this. Here's my little blue section, the little reflection of the sky. I can also do a little bit of this, kind of add a little bit of this blues out here. Very loose. Okay. I want this to be real solid in here. It's a little not quite solid, so let's take a little bit more. Really fill this in. I want that edge to be real solid. Okay. Look at that. It looks like a friggin' lake, you know? Silence says, what's your favorite painting to do? Um, let me pull up my paintings and look at them, because I know I've got one, probably. Stars, 
Let's see, favorite painting to do. Let me look at my paintings. Oh shit, let me think here. I think my favorite painting, damn. Okay, my favorite painting might be Cherry Blossoms or, oh. Cherry Blossoms or Serenity. L those are my two favorite, okay? I'm not going to take the time to add those in here and sh put them up on the screen. I could, but um, if you look up, I guess if you went to my TikTok, you could look up the one that said Cherry Blossoms and the one that says Serenity. Those are like my two favorites. I don't know why. They're just fun to do. I just like them. I like how they look. I like the colors, and they're easy, and they're fun, and they look cool. They're kind of like stylized like I like them. And so, yeah, I think those would be my pick. Okay, let's blow dry. Wait, one other thing. Let's do one more thing. I'm going to take my medium flat brush. Just make this look real nice, okay? Oh, shit. Oh, God. What happened? Okay. I'm going to take my medium flat brush. Which one's my medium flat? There it is. Make sure we wash all the paint out of it, okay? I'm going to wash it really vigorously, okay? Lots of vigor. Okay, and then I'm going to take my brush and squeeze it through there. Okay, that's pretty clean. I'm going to get a little bit of white. And one thing I can do is I can go in here in the sky and make some little... I don't know, if there's some spots, I'm going to make a little solid cloud. You know, it could be smart before you do your trees to do this, but, you know, I kind of let it get to this because if the tree's covered up, whatever. It's not a big deal. <gasps> Maybe up here I could... Take a little bit of white at a time. Kind of make oh look there's a little trend file you know uh, you don't have to do this part i just i just kind of like to do this you kind of make another bright white spot after because when it's wet with that, that first step when we were doing the when the blue is still wet as you notice it's probably like kind of hard to get those those bright whites kind of go away so if you want to put some of those bright whites back in mm -hmm. i'm not gonna mess with the water we want that to be kind of loose and not real defined so Um, okay, I like that. That's cool. Okay, last blow drying step, and then we'll put the big tree in over here on the right side, and that'll be the last part. Okay, let's get going. Okay, let's finish up our painting here. So last thing we got to do, let's take one more shot, okay? Let's get the double-digit shots here. I think I may have missed, may have not counted one of them, but whatever. Um, cheers. All right, final tree. This is where I use my big, this is what I meant to, this is why I had my big round brush out originally, but I misused it for, misappropriated my big round brush. Okay, let's take my big round brush again. Hi, big round brush, how are you? Oh, I'm good, how have you been? Oh, I'm fine. Getting a little drunk, Joel. You and your drinking. Hey, by the way, I love how on my TikToks there's always, I, know, I feel like every other week there's somebody who's like, this just looks like alcoholism. I'm like, I don't fucking care, dude. I like how people like say that like, oh, wow, brilliant. You're very astute. What a brilliant observation. Look, once a week I do this and it's fun for me. And this is like, it's like what I do anyway. Like some, once in a while I get drunk and paint. I don't care. I'm not mad about it. Okay. If, and if you're trying to be a, some kind of fucking white knight out there showing off for random fucking people on the internet, just know you're a fucking tool. Okay. All right. Let's start up here. Let's kind of start at the bottom. Let's make our big old tree over here on the right. So maybe let's take our chalk. I don't really use my chalk today like I thought I would. Okay. This tree's going to kind of go off the side. So let's start up here. Let's just kind of go, just like a generous, not real wide, real fast. Kind of a, you know, a, a subtle uh, incline there. Let's start down here at the bottom. Okay. We're gonna cover all this shiz up. Let's start inside this uh, section. Paint all this in pretty much. I mean, you can leave some stuff showing, but paint a lot of this in pretty, pretty well. And you know, I think they should be a little, well, 
be a little darker. Let's add a little bit of black. Let's take some black now. Let me put a little bit of this in there. Not, let me just put a little black dobs like this. Then I'll kind of blend them in so it's a little bit darker in some sections of this. But not the whole thing, you know. A little bit darker sections here and there. Hey, just know if you're trying to uh, impress everybody on the internet that you are like, well, you shouldn't be drinking. Uh, just know no one fucking cares, okay? If you don't like it, that's fine. Don't fucking follow me. I don't fucking care. Uh, I just love people that act like I'm gonna be like, oh, it is? Oh, man, I'm totally gonna change my life. Like, like I give a shit, you know? Like, what you fucking say. Okay, uh, enough of that. Enough of me um, being drunk and saying what I really think. I'm gonna take my brush and dab it off. Thank you, silence. Thank you. It is my stream. I'm gonna do what I want. Okay, let's take this. Let's kind of let's dab this out a little bit. Let's have some little... Let's just dab this. Just dab away, okay? Let's just give this outside edge a little texture. Okay, a little texture. Don't make it so solid. Take this dry brush with a little bit of this color. Just kind of dab it out. Get a little texture there. I do want this to be kind of solid right there. Okay. All right. I'm going to blow dry this real quick. Just give it a quick blow dry. Okay. And you know what? In spite of my last comment, or in spite of everybody for those comments, I'm going to take one more shot just to shove it in your face. Shot 11, people. Oh, was that shot 10? It definitely didn't count my last shot. Whatever. Okay, monkey with a banana on his head. It's always good. Um, last chance to win a painting. Trivia question today is, what is the name of the new Transformers slash Fast and Furious crossover movie going to be called? We all know it's coming. Okay. Is it A, Fast Formers? Is it B, Trans Fast, High Noon in Robot City? Is it C, Last of the Family Bots? D, Transformers, Rise of the Tribal Tattoos? E, Trans Formula One? Is it F, Trans Furious, My Muffler is Full? G, Auto Erotica Bots? Or H, Tank Tops and Robots? That's your trivia question for today. Give it a guess if you'd like to win a free painting. If you'd like to win like 10 free paintings, uh, I'll give you as many as you want. I'm kind of getting a lot of, I'm looking at them now, there's a lot. I need to get rid of them. So, give it a guess if you'd like. Okay, that's dry enough. All right, let's go. I'm just gonna go and grab a new plate because I'm very wasteful and I have, I just buy this stuff in bulk. Okay, done, okay. All right, Joel, focus, all right. Blue and yellow, everybody. Blue and yellow. Let's get some, let's make some greens. Let's get our fan brush out. And let's really go to town with our fan brush. Make sure you look, get a little washed out there. Get a little washed out. Give it a nice wash. Mix your yellow and blue together here. I'm gonna start with kind of my dark blue, more blue than yellow. Let's start with that. And I'm gonna start over here. This color is gonna be more towards the darker side. So it's gonna be more to the right side. Let's start down here at the bottom. Make a nice, solid, Big, solid, dark green spots there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like that, okay? We're going to go all the way up. Have these kind of come out a little bit past that dark color that we've painted in. Work our way up there. Mm -hmm. As we go up, we'll make them a little thinner. Still coming out past this edge a little bit. Press real lightly. You want to you use the texture of this brush, okay? So if it's really thick with paint, you don't see that texture as much. So really use that um, texture. When it's really light and you're running out of paint, that's kind of a good place. You know, you want it to be kind of... If it's dried out, you kind of get the texture of the brush a little bit better, you know? So there's our first layer of green. Wash it out. Let's add some more yellow in here. Here we go, there's a nice, a little bit brighter green, more of a medium green, really. But it's gonna look a lot brighter on top. 
All right, let's go in here on top of all these spots. I'm going to add some of these bright greens. Let's go. There we go. Let's fucking go. There we go. Look at those baller-ass fucking tree we got going on. Everybody take a step back at this point. It's good to every once in a while. Take a step back. Look at your painting. And it's also good to kind of build yourself up and be like, hey, that's a baller-ass tree. Everybody take a step back and say, let's go. That's a baller-ass fucking tree right now. Okay? Everybody do that. You're gonna, you're gonna love the way you look. I don't know why I always say that. It's like, uh, what's that? You're gonna love the way you look. Is that a uh, men's warehouse? That's what it is. You're gonna love the way your painting looks. I'm just pressing real lightly. I'm just kind of using the texture, this, 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 just the shape of this brush. This brush is made for this, you know? It's like what this brush is for. So you don't have to do a lot of work here. You just kind of let your brush do the work for you, okay? Let the brush do the working for you, okay? Okay, so there's that. Let's add more yellow now. This is gonna be our light color now. Let's take lots and lots of yellow now. Mostly yellow. And we could even, you could add some white if you wanted. I don't think I'm going to, well, nah. Say I could, but now we kind of spread this around. Not, not, don't go crazy with this, but just here and there. This is gonna be your highlights. Your lightest lights and your darkest dark should be kind of very sparsely, but spread out, but spread out where you can see them, you know? Oh, look at that frickin' tree right there. Holy shit. What a great tree. Again, look at your tree and step back and out. I want to point to you, look, if you're painting alongside someone, you know, look at theirs and say, that's a baller ass tree. That tree is lit AF, fam. Some shit, you know, whatever the kids are saying now. But say, hey, that's effing cool. You know, because you are effing cool. We're all effing cool. Look at that. Look at that tree. Look at our painting today. Look, we did it. That's our painting for today. Now, we're not done. Oh, I didn't paint my side edges. Okay, I'm going to paint my side edges blue. Okay, because I just feel like that makes sense. Okay, let me paint my side edges blue. Oh, and then I'll sign my painting. Um, and then we'll be done, okay? What a great painting today. I'm gonna start doing a, a little series like this. With some of these style paintings. Oh, hey. Hi, mom, how are you? My mom says I like that. Well, thank you, mom. Yeah, don't you like, this looks nice. This is a classic Bob Ross kind of painting, you know? Okay, let's we'll talk about the trivia question in a second. Um, hey, mom, this is an AI art generated selfie of me. Look at that. I look pretty stupid. Doesn't look as good as a lot of other AI are generated selfies, so. I don't know. It's also National Walnut Day. And this is a monkey with a banana on his head. Mom, how was your trip? How was the trip around the world, around the US? Did you see anything cool? What was your favorite thing? You went to the I Love Lucy Museum? You went through Connecticut and New Hampshire and all those Eastern states? What, what, anything? How was it? I got your postcard. I'm talking about thunderstorms, sometimes listen to my headphones to help me sleep. Yeah. Do you, Mom, do you know what ASMR is? It's like where you hear a noise and it's like comforting. Some people, it's kind of sexual for some people, but that's not really what it is. It's like, I mean, that's like in the weird world of it, but like ASMR is like a sound that you're like oh it like kind of soothes you and I think that might be why people like like thunderstorms are kind of like that like the ASMR thing I mean obviously I mean obviously anything gets taken to some weird sexual point at some point but ASMR is typically just like something that like soothes people and like oh and it kind of relaxes them you know so it's like sounds like little like whispers or like subtle sounds like crinkling of paper and things like that like weird things like that but i think that's kind of what thunderstorms are like you know i feel like that's why people like thunderstorms because it's kind of this like sound that's like kind of like this quiet but subtle like sound that's soothing it's just a theory i don't know it's probably not true but it makes sense in my head okay painting the bottom edge i'm going to sign my painting then we'll talk about the trivia question we'll be done for today
Okay, we painted the bottom. Let's take our little baby brush here, sign our painting. I'm just gonna take the same blue color, because why not? Once you sign it, it's a fancy ass painting. Okay, look, we did it, okay? Um, congratulations, we finished our painting. Okay, today's trivia question was what is the name of the new Transformers Fast and Furious movie? Um, the new, the new Transformers Fast and Furious movie uh, is called, let me decide real quick. I haven't thought about this at all. Um, you did see some pretty stuff? That's cool, Mom. I bet it's pretty up there right now because it's kind of summer. Okay, uh, the correct answer was, is, um, the correct answer is, I'm not thinking about this, I'm just drawing it out for, uh, conclude, for, uh, you know, effect. The correct answer is they're going to make 17 of these movies. So these are all true. Um, but the first one that comes out is going to be called uh, Transformers Rise of the Tribal Tattoos. So uh, no one said D, but you all win a painting, okay? Because all these movies are coming out at some point. They're all going to be made. We all know that. Mom says Trans Fast High New Robot City. That's actually the second movie that's coming out. So, Mom, you win a painting, okay? Um, yeah, and this is a picture here of... Um, this is um, Dom Toretto, you know? That's played by... Um, what's his name? Vince... Fuck, what's his name? What's the character? Dom Toretto... Uh, shit. How am I blanking on this? Uh... I can't think now. Anyway, that guy, and then that's, uh, you know, some robot. And the power of family is too strong for the Autobot or Decepticon, whoever that is. And this guy's like, it's about family, okay? So that's a little teaser picture from the first movie of the Transformers Fast and Furious mix-up or a crossover called Transformers Rise of the Tribal Tattoos. Um, so... Everyone wins a painting today. Everyone wins. If you guessed, you win, okay? Okay, um... So, there you go. Let your painting dry. Um... And, um... I don't know. Uh, I can't remember what I was going to say, but I've had a great time today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you have any questions, you know, about how to make something, feel free to message me. Um, and please, if you liked, uh, if you liked this video and you made a painting, share it with people and um share it with me and i'd love to i'd love to see your creations and um please uh click like share follow subscribe all that stuff look up paint the edge off i'm on most of the media stuffs just look it up and follow it it does me a lot it helps me a lot so i appreciate you all for watching and i thank you and i love you and um and and goodbye i love you goodbye